I'm a little ornament. Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Vlogmas day three, decorating our Christmas tree. Yeah, we're on day three, fam. It's going well so far. We're still on track. We're still chugging along in this Vlogmas journey. <laughs> Vlogmas journey. I did see, well, there weren't a ton of comments in the last reactor or whatever, but uh, there are some that are saying like, why are you, why are you being negative? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's Amberlynn Reed. That's why um, I'm far more skeptical of these new these new changes or new phases that Amberlynn likes to go on. It was a matter of weeks ago where she was going to the ER and stuff. So like I'm just kind of skeptical as to the longevity of this sudden change in her personality and her willingness to make the correct her willingness to save her life essentially i don't want to go too in depth about that I, honestly aphrodite's peach did a very good job detailing why someone would be skeptical of this new phase so i'm gonna go ahead and just put a card up here for her so go and check her video out she does a really good job of explaining why people are so skeptical i had an exam today i i passed it but i'm kind of like you know when you like go and you take an exam and you're like not as confident as you usually are that's just how i feel i left the lecture hall and i was just like i could have done better i should have studied a little bit harder but whatever so if i'm not like super up or whatever in this video that's probably why um but yeah let's just get into this react and then i'll give you i'll elaborate a little bit more towards the end vlogmas vlogmas day three, day three. So, december 2nd you guys will be seeing this on december 3rd I don't know why I, I love how she has to always like reiterate that we understand we understand you have to film it on the day that it's happening and then upload it the next day we get it I say that I'm not in it to win it that cat scratch is not healing right here here y'all see this let me it is not healing I don't know it's bad <laughs> you need to get some like I don't know some like scarring cream or something because it's weird you know usually um people who are like of color or whatever when we scar we like tend to keloid or we scar dark but i've never really seen a fair person like scar so dark before like that's very interesting to me today in the slightest you guys have been enjoying vlogmas so far not sure why but it's a good uh it's a good pick me up i'm not so really feeling those earrings at all lamp to help with um lighting girl it was cyber monday you should have invested yourself in a nice ring light they're not that expensive and that's not a great freeze frame right here it's eric and ricky's lamp and i'll put it back when i'm done it's also eric and ricky's house usually goes <laughs> in the living room so we have our first christmas decoration up Woo! it's a wreath <laughs> that's funny um, the way she had to side shuffle through that doorway in the dining room uh, they brought it up from the basement, so we might be doing the tree tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm about to have me some breakfast. So I've never really this should had be this interesting. Before. I've had something relatable to it. Um, relatable to it? <laughs> okay. It's another one of my concoctions. So just bear. Have you ever seen that movie, that Disney Channel movie? Um, oh my god, I'm blanking on the name, but it's like about a girl who's like, I think it's like my my stepsister's an alien or something like that. And it's like this girl's mom starts dating this dude and he has a daughter the same age as her, but it turns out they're like these gas aliens. And like when they cook things, they don't see the point and like separating the food out or whatever they just put it all in a blender and eat it that's how that's what amber lynn's food reminds me of very much that movie bear with me i'm gonna show you what it is no judging even though i know you will <laughs> you guys see those dishes this stack right here wait always Ooh. a water bottle i haven't done those yet <laughs> i don't know why every time the sink gets filled i always do those first anyways it's because you're you're tired and you're running out of breath and you can't stand there for very long to actually complete the task. So first things first, we're gonna do a little English muffin. So that's the first thing we need. Second thing is our turkey sausage. 
We're gonna need. Still blows my mind that she can't figure out how to cook sausage. She has to get the pre cooked stuff. And cucumber. I'm sure you What the fuck? Exactly where I'm going with this. Not really. How the fuck do those four things go together? You're gonna wanna warm up your turkey sausage however you want. Jesus Christ. Some people do it on the stove. I open that box like a savage. Yeah, <laughs> so like, I just my God. On a plate and put it in the microwave for a minute and 11 seconds. Why? Why 11 seconds? That is such a a specific number. She's like, I put it in for like one one minute and 11 seconds and 10 mi microseconds. Like it's 11 seconds. That's so. What did she test? One minute and 12 seconds, and I was like, mm -mm, too much. And then she tested one minute and 10 seconds. She's like, no, not not warm enough. And then she did one minute and 11 seconds, and was like, yep, perfect. Like that is so weird. <laughs> On the microwave, so hopefully that sound doesn't bother you. So next thing, I'm going to cut up a cucumber. This is this what is she making right here? So these are already pre-washed. You should still wash them when you get home, dog. You you can run them through the sink for like 20 seconds. Thank the Lord. So I'm gonna cut off the ends. We're just gonna cut these. Oh, I hate ends. it when people cut on glass. Slices. Okay, so My now ears. Done, we're gonna get an English muffin. Y'all, y'all are probably like, okay, this is so weird. One of gross Lynn's recipe. So we can't use that joke anymore. She's stolen it and she's killed it. Congratulations, you did it. These, we're gonna cut this in half. Oh my god, your thumb! Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna take one of these. These are only 35 calories per one. Literally there for it. So it opens up super easily. Plop that on there. She not gonna toast that English muffin? Ew, is she gonna eat a cold English muffin? We have a little garbage stack starting. And you're just going to do this. Does she really think people wanna eat this shit? I think Eric's back. Okay. This is so Eric? weird. Oh. So we're just spreading it. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is. I mean, I could just use the same knife for the whole thing. Like, it's really not the big deal. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. Why would you use another knife? We're going to cut these into slices. Why? That is piping hot, but. I prefer piping hot, so we're good on that regard. She's one of those people that gets like filet mignon and gets it well done. So Real we're talk. just gonna lay them about. Honestly, seeing this now, I could have just had one sausage, but this is a. But you've claimed to make like okay. Sure, Jan. Yeah, I thought you made this before. I thought this was like one of your favorite things. Serving, so I was like, oh, I'll have a serving, but really I could have just had one. And then... She's putting the cucumber on top? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely... <laughs> oh, this is silly. I definitely only need a... Ew! Uh, this this is just... I don't understand her. Who? Like... <gasps> She's like, oh, mm, okay. it's umami. So... The umaminess. And then you just close it. And it's disgusting. You Bam. made you you dude. A weird. How have you made it through life? I don't understand how you're even alive still. Like you have no life skills at all. You can't even. I can't, dude. I've seen seven year olds make better breakfast sandwiches than this. Like what the f what? Overflowing breakfast. No one would want to eat that situation. willingly. Situation, Lynn. I'm so annoyed. I know. Oh my god. So She's killed that joke. That joke's Just dead. Y'all, I am so. She's watching this too much now. She's in She's in on the jokes and everything. Is no joke. Okay. So. I also have my tapatio. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay, right, here we go. Yes, we need you to try your nasty sandwich on camera. 
It's disgusting. Don't even sit here and try to front like it's decent. Mm. So I actually No, love I don't even care. I honestly don't care. Bit of cheese. Definitely gonna be dipping it in this, but don't knock it till you try it. You yeah, know? I'm gonna knock it. Jeez, I'm gonna knock it the fuck out right now. Bath. How about that? How do you feel? Like a new woman. <laughs> She's so cute. Aww. Um, can you wash your shower? That is disgusting. Look at the rust and stuff. Like, get you some CLR and, like, get in there. And, like, ugh. You get in that every day looking like that? Babe, so I called. I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. Yay! Mom, I have a doctor appointment! She's like, leave me alone. I don't like baths. <laughs> so, yeah. I just called. I feel you on I feel Twinkie on that. Which I'm pumped. This is gonna be the whole doctor shit that happened in, what was it, February or March or whatever. It's gonna be the same. See, this is what I mean when like people are like, you need to give her a chance to start. It, it's all bullshit, dude. We've seen this before. I feel like I'm literally watching the like a vlog from last Christmas. Like it's literally the exact same stuff. It's actually with a new doctor because the one I've been seeing no longer works there. So I'm a little nervous. She's on to bigger and better things. Well, maybe yeah. not bigger, but I'm better. I'm a little nervous to see a new doctor. Hopefully this one takes me a little bit more seriously. So the doctor was the one who didn't take you seriously last time? So do you, see, this is what I mean. Like this is the same Amber Lynn. Y'all are tripping out here. Real talk. Y'all are full blown tripping out out here. I don't know if y'all are new here. This is a, this is a Wendy's ma'am because this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. The doctor wasn't taking this seriously. The doctor, the one that was empathetic towards you, wanted you to come in, do this weight loss thing for you. I mean, the multiple doctors, the multiple, the the nutritionist. The, uh, excuse me, they weren't taking this seriously, says the 600 pound woman who can't walk through Walmart. They weren't taking it seriously. Okay. But she's different, right? She's new. It's all it's all fresh and new. Okay. Then the last one. I did. see. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Whatever. Tiki Star. Whatever. She's so freaking pumped, y'all. Oh my god. The most Tiki energetic Star. person oh in the god. vlog is Twinkie. <laughs> I can't. Why do you always act like this after a shower? She's like, um, hold on. The screeching is like a lot for me right now. Dog smell when they're wet. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm Becky so, has so lost weight. Hi, a little baby boy. What are you I've, doing? Honestly, the only likable part about Amber Lynn oh. is her animals. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> He really likes closets. I just, I don't understand why. There's like a jacket closet. Well, we have games in there too. I'll show you. Um, He always comes over here by this closet. It makes me feel like there's something spooky in here. But we have like a ton of games. And then Eric and Ricky use it for their clothes, shoes, tons of shoes. And then we have another closet in the hallway. Ooh, feet, yay. Oh, right here, which has linen and stuff, but he's obsessed with it. Why do you like closets, huh? Are you gonna tell me? <laughs> Is there a ghost in there? No, don't scrape on that baby. He just probably likes it because it's dark and enclosed. <laughs> and he can so, hide. Most cats, he probably. Lunch. There are like two different types of cats. There's cats that like to climb up in trees and then there's cats that like to hide in bushes. He's probably a cat that likes to hide in bushes. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you chop that onion more lazily? My God, like <laughs> her chopping skills are much, much to be desired. So, um, I have some seasonings in here. It's a Mrs. Mm -hmm. Dash. I told y'all she was going to make a stir fry. Sauce. I told you she was going to make some fried some rice or something. That's already cooked. And some general so stir fry sauce. This is actually leftover chicken. So perfect. Um, 
I love Chinese food, so. We know, that's why you went to the Chinese buffet four days ago. Of Chinese food, but we'll see. We'll see. So we have some. I mean, there are healthy version, there are healthy options in Chinese food. You just get orange chicken every time. Brown rice. Here is the completed dish. I'm just gonna put it on top. I try to bite, it's actually really good. I know you guys. It's not. You think suck I'm at cooking. Really weird things, you suck at cooking. Everything I make tastes good, I promise. Because you have a fucking McDonald's palate, dog. That's why. You've eaten nothing but processed fast fried food your entire life. So, like, anything that is even remotely fresh, you're like, ooh. Oh, so, I'm gonna have a little meal prep action with the rest of this. No, that's called leftovers. She, her idea of what meal prep is and what actual meal prep is is two completely different things, obviously. Meal prep is when you go out and you actually make serving sizes and you go and you, 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 you plan out exactly what you're going to eat for each day and you measure it out to a precise amount. It's not you just cook a bunch of food and then you throw it in a Tupperware. That's called leftovers, not meal prep. It looks so good. No, so it doesn't. I finished my that bra. Oh my god! She got to hide the bra. Outside, I do fasting. I don't know if I told you guys where I fast for sixteen hours and I eat within an eight-hour um, slot. And I choose to eat more so during the night. So I usually have because that's my when you're first awake. Meal, which is breakfast. Do we really believe that, that she's doing and then fasting? I don't. Meal, lunch, I, yeah, right, and, girl. Anywhere nice try. Between, honestly, five nice try. It just depends on how hungry I am. Today, I had it at 5.30. I was a little bit hungrier than usual. And I usually have my last meal at like the last second that I'm allowed to eat. Um, 9.30, 10. It's easier for me, in my opinion, to eat within such a small time frame. Um, there have been a couple times where I did one meal a day. Oh, we're O mad now? Actually, um, I had two Thanksgivings, one with Becky's family and one with Eric and Ricky. And on both of those days, I did do one meal a day because obviously. Yeah, most people do one meal a day on Thanksgiving because it's a giant ass meal. Like you're not, you haven't broke the code. You aren't new. Okay. Most people only eat one meal on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving food is high in calories and I didn't really want to you know, like binge or go over the edge. So I was able to enjoy myself on Thanksgiving without breaking the scale. So even after Thanksgiving, breaking the scale, Thanksgivings, I still was able to lose some weight afterwards. So it makes me really happy because a lot of people gain weight during the holidays, especially like Thanksgiving. You're 600 pounds. You're 600 pounds. It would have to be an act of God <laughs> for most people, for someone your size to gain some weight. Like you, okay. <laughs> if you ate like a normal person, you yeah, you should be losing weight. It shouldn't be that much of a shock to you. You're 600 pounds. You're 600 pounds. And that's normally me. So I'm very, you know, proud of myself, I will say. But um, yeah, it was really, really good love that for me so tonight i'm probably just gonna have like a tv dinner it's just works it's just what works for me later at night i don't want to be this is, i mean when she sees this doctor and he tells her or she tells her something she's not going to want to hear she's going to go back and say it's the doctor's fault i already know it dude i already know exactly how this is going to end up looking super late at night so it's just it's just what works you guys look at what is going on right now why don't they get a real treat? Oh, well, they have he cats. hard but... at work. I'm going to try helping her some. Honestly, I don't like this tree at all. I feel like next year, I'm going to have to buy the tree for this house. Um, it's just, it, this. it's very old. And there's a lot of holes in it, no matter how hard we try each year. Um, so we do have, like, a lot of ornaments to help with ornaments. that. Ornaments. Ornaments. So, the There's no D in Don't ornaments. Still have a tree skirt, babe? Or now I'm gonna start saying it. it. Ornaments. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. Hopefully. Um all the ornaments for the most part are ones that Becky and I bought together. Most of the decorations, honestly, I brought from when I lived by myself. Becky is so lifeless. Stuff, so 
I'm really excited. They're watching RuPaul's Drag Race. She's going at it. This is like so hard. So I'm gonna try helping her some. Yeah, and put the fucking camera down and help your girlfriend. The tree tonight. Shut up. We get Fingers it. Fingers crossed. So I was working on it, and I think I know why there's so many holes. It's broken on some parts. Like it's supposed to stand up like this, but when I let go, it falls. And there's a lot more that is like that. Uh, I honestly kind of would love a flocked tree that was real, but I feel like it would make a giant mess, a really big mess. Yeah, it would. <laughs> honestly, and you're not gonna pick it up, but so or bring it in. I'm so trying. beggars so can't be choosers. We're going through all our ornaments, and this is like the whole stuffer. <laughs> I've had these for a long time. Um, they definitely I'm a big fan of monochromatic trees, and usually when we do it, we either do all red or all gold. All gold. We're like literally like Shaws of Sunset. But um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I mean, the the decorations seem cute. I would if she did all silver, that would probably look pretty fly. Definitely help. Not only make your tree beautiful. Oh my god, this box is crazy. But um, the box is not um, crazy. It's not. It doesn't quit personifying the box with the mental illness. Okay, it is not crazy. Know what that is? <laughs> but it's it a really fucking box with holes in your tree. If you have a hole, dude, in your tree, she like, is really going. Like, I hope Eric doesn't watch this and is and is like hurt by this. <laughs> Us. I hate hey, when, dude. I hate people like Eric, but I do shit like this. Suitable. It's so passive yeah, aggressive, and you know he's gonna just, see like, this, stuff. and people are gonna Babe, comment does this on it. The tree. It can. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through all of them and lay them on the table so they're easier for us to. Becky moves when like them on the so tree. slow. So She's I'm like the turtle sure from Rocco's Modern of Life. Our ornaments. Um, Becky likes it to where there's no like theme. She just likes random ornaments on the tree because i think that's how she grew up which i'm okay with um a lot of them are actually from her past like this one um this one and i know there's a few you others. always have to have a dove I in your tree i don't know where they are at the moment um her mom actually made this one for her which is super cute um norma's arts and crafts surprised me with this one did she make that with the gofundme the go scam remember. me oh is that more Oh, Becky is lifeless. Wait, I knew we were missing some. Okay, I'm gonna go through this. I'll be right back. So this one is so cute. I love this. Um, Becky's nephew actually made this for her when he was really young. <laughs> I love that. So we also have like two squirrels. Honestly, one of my favorites is this one. If you know, I got to choose like a theme for a tree it would be a lot like this type of vibe like that's so pretty i have my aerial <laughs> this one just makes me laugh to be honest like what this one's mine a lot of these ones over here are the ones that i picked out like the really weird ones do i regret it not really and like this it would go perfect with that oh my god and like this one elephant oh my god i've never not cared that's about so something cool. so much before Oh, here's another handmade one. I mean, most of these are handmade, but you I know like what I mean. the Charlie Brown and ones then the most, actually. Becky's sister made this. I don't think it's an ornament, but isn't that cute? Love it. Y'all, I wish I was joking, but there's more ornaments. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Ornaments. I said I wouldn't bore you with the details, but please look at these. Obsessed. Oh my god, that's such a cute ornament. We got this one last year. I she's ruined this song for me now. This song's been ruined for me. Oh my god, I can't kill me. It's finished. It looks really good. Okay, comment of the day. Yes, Sam Berlin, in ED recovery, once you stop using food slash behaviors to cope, it gets worse before it gets better. True. You become stronger, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Proud of you. Thank you so much, 
salve strain. That's very true, and that's why typically when you're going through things like this, you should see a therapist so you can actually process those that those emotions and those memories or whatever it is that was causing or triggering you to like have an eating disorder. Is Amberlyn going to do that? Probably not, which is why I'm very skeptical on this journey or this new leaf that she's turned. I guess we'll wait and see, though. I definitely agree with that. Um, it's made me more emotional. I cry a little bit more now that I don't turn to food for, like, that comfort. But I'm totally okay with it because I feel so much better at the end of the night not binging and not overeating. Countdown until her mysterious illness stops Vlogmas. <laughs> Vlogmas is a good I one. I like Vlogmas. Um, I'm sorry it's so mysterious maybe one day in the again we're gonna future, tease this and then be annoyed when Damn. people are creating rumors around it but let's just enjoy the slight improvement in content for what it's worth for now uh, sure all right sunny i feel you on that one i understand a comment like that several people send me like a diagram of it Oh, she's and talking about the cycle. True. Like, I gotta be honest. Like, I read that one time. And oh, I think it was, shit. Like, the first time I saw it, I was like, dang. <laughs> Whoever made this is pretty accurate and must know me very well. Um, well, there's like seven years of video footage of it. Got, like, she is she aware that she vlogs? Does she think that she uploads videos, these and they go off to the ether? They go to like Earth 2 or something? This is part of the cycle. I am. This really is part of the cycle. My fingers and trying and doing as hard as I can to not make that happen. The reason why you guys are seeing this part is because I have finally revealed that I really am focusing on my weight. I didn't tell you guys for a couple of weeks. No, you've been telling us for like the past month that you're losing weight. Like you've been saying this for a while now. I mean, are you showing us the food now? Sure. I mean, you're, you're not showing weigh-ins or whatever. That's the only thing you've not shown. But everything else you've been pretty vocal about. So this idea that you've been, like, hiding it, or fr it's, no. Like, I don't, I don't think so. And then also, like, you were just in the ER because of your weight, pretty much. Or whatever. I don't know. You said you were sick, and then you weren't sick. I don't, who fucking knows anymore? I don't, I'm confused. Let's just get this over because with. Because I didn't want people <laughs> to throw the cycle in my face. But I can see why you guys are doing it now. Because you guys are like, okay, whoa, now all of a sudden she's acting like this. So I can understand where you're coming from. You're losing weight, and I'm so proud of you. Keep doing you and weigh in when you feel comfortable. I struggle with my weight as well, so I totally get it. Just know you have support. Thank you, Zephyria R. I hope I pronounced your name right. I, I really appreciate that, and I'm definitely going to do a weigh-in when I'm ready. And like I keep saying, um, I do have a goal in mind when I want to do it. Right, so when you're like less I'm than what your highest weight was. Goal, and if I do, I'm gonna Quit like, trying to fool us, dog. Crack. We all know. <laughs> it's going to be such like a beautiful moment for me, for sure. Opening the fridge seems like Nikita Dragon thing. I like it. A lot of people said that they thought <laughs> the fridge part was actually funny and like kind of cute instead of cringy, which I still think it's cringy, but thank you guys for like going along with my you know weirdness because i'm actually very weird she has to be kind to get the numbers for that paycheck at the end of vlogmas used to root for her but i know better after years of her games agree christy christy s i appreciate your opinion no you I don't no problem with your opinion everyone has one um i do but here's my problem with it but here's my problem with it controversial and when i am a little bit more how do I word that? Not so kind. I'm going to say kind because that's what you use. I do get more views and I think it's like the trend. When you troll more is aspect. what you're saying? So me being kind and me changing. Your personality hasn't changed at all. I don't. Okay. Vlogmas. It has nothing to do with. Patience. Apparently her personality has changed. I'm just in a good space. <laughs> and it has a lot to do with the things I'm eating, the movement I'm doing, the weight loss and the medication I'm on. And I'm just trying to make improvements every single day. And I mean, you can was a have list of things. on me. Like, I can't take that from you. Okay, so this is the last one. How are you always sick and still claim this has nothing to do with your weight? Agreed. I have a cold, a very typical cold. Eric and Becky just got over a cold. 
and they gave it to me, <laughs> which is okay. I mean, you live in a household full of people. It's going to happen. Um, it definitely has nothing to do with my weight, having a cold. Uh, she's not talking about this particular sick. She's talking about the history of your sickness, dog. About why you had to go to the ER for your infected belly button. Why you went to the ER last time. Like, those are all very much weight-related. It's all weight-related. That's all weight-related. Um, a lot of people get colds. Everyone does. So, again. Amber Lynn, she's just weight. like us. But if you think it has something to do with my weight, I can't change your opinion. Anyways, it probably has something to do with your weight. See my next one. Let's Bye. be real. All right, so that was the vlog. I was not, I'm honestly not that surprised that she would claim that the doctor she once had wasn't taking her seriously. Because Am in Amber Lynn's world, it's always everyone else's fault. And this is what I feel, this is how I feel about like the nice comments too or whatever, is that she's, she's setting this up so that way when she does fail and then people are like dude we were we were rooting for you we were trying to give you help we were trying to advice and then when they, they, they turn sour again she's gonna blame her falling off the wagon on her audience which is very typical of her just like she's blaming her the stuff not working with the doctor on the doctor or she blamed the nutritionist or she blamed octavia or she blamed it's always someone else's fault she never takes accountability for any of her actions so that's how i feel about that the whole also, I would almost argue, too, that p the comments turning more positive is proof that, like, the haters actually want to see you kind of succeed. The people that don't like you or the people that, like, I would argue, even in Foodie Beauty's case, too, the people that are encouraging you to stay on these bad behaviors are the people who don't care about your well-being. Real talk. And I'm not saying that the haters really care about her either, but when they come on here and they're like, you need to try to lose weight. You need to try to see a doctor. You need to do all of these things to try to save your life. Those are the people that actually somewhat give a fuck. Because the people that are coming around here being like, we want mukbangs or we want you to eat this or do that. Those people don't care about you. And, but those are the people that they that they think care about them or that want them to succeed. I don't know. That's always been very interesting to me. Um, this is already long. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this react. I'm sorry if I wasn't as animated or I mean, these vlogs are kind of boring right now. And I think that just is what it is. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.